again, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Thank you for joining us for this playoff edition of the NBA on 2K Sports Western Conference Finals. The battle now goes to Game 2. It's the Los Angeles Clippers taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Look at the Lakers. A successful outing in Game 1 has them right where they want to be with a chance here, guys, to take Game 2 on their home court. And anytime you can go up 2-0 in a series, it's not a guarantee, but history tells us that you almost always win. So, huge game here tonight. Well, I'll take it a step further and say whichever team wins this game will go on to win the series, Steve. It's a bold statement to make, but I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of bold statements. I do believe that. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. CP3 and Jamal Crawford make the back. Dudley and Griffin, your small and power forwards. And it's Jordan in at the center. Here's G. Six on the shot clock. Young for three. It's rebounded by Paul. Well contested shot, and they did an excellent job of not fouling the shooter. Defense is about effort and commitment and discipline. He's a good defender because of those things. Now here's Paul. Young against Crawford. Outside Bryant. G kicks to Kobe. Three-pointer. That doesn't go in either for Kobe. Well, they're fortunate. The defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Griffin dishes to Crawford. Clippers moving the ball around. Ball kicks to Griffin. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throw down. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Young outside. Connects from three-point range. Young's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. All up top. Again, Los Angeles. How about this? They're shooting 80% so far. I know it's early, uh, but offensively, they look great. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, I was able to talk with head coach of the Clippers for just a moment. I asked him how his team's mindset was after that opening loss. He told me, we're not down. Our goal was to come in here and take one of the first two on the road. So we're still in a position to accomplish what we set out for. Guys? Thanks a lot, Doris. Now the Lakers on the break. Kobe's got the ball. Lakers shooting their first free throws here tonight. That's good from Young. He's perfect from the line this time. Los Angeles leading by four. Crawford outside. Now the pass to Paul. From downtown. Rebound the Lakers. Their offense came out big in Saturday's game. And a lot of their scoring in that win came from unexpected places. From guys who don't typically get a lot of minutes. And you know what? Those guys on the bench, they practice every day, too, even if they don't play every night. And that night, they were ready. Now here's Paul. After the miss from G. Griffin kicks to Jordan. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those three throws. This is his first chance at the line tonight. So one for two that time with the strike. Two possession leads, what they were looking for there. So they can deal with that one miss. And Jordan sends it back. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Clark. Here's G. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. No one covered. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Ball passes to Crawford. And again, no good by the Clippers. Lakers trail by three. Here's G, and it's Bryant in the corner. They set the pick. And G has it in the corner. 
offensive rebound. Hill, no good. Clippers have gone 50% from the field at this point, four of eight. The baseline J, no good off the back of the rim. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. G gets to Young. Crawford against Kobe. The shot is off. Now he's missing a lot of shots out here. Offensively, he just has not been able to produce in this quarter. Paul against Kobe. Crawford kicks to Paul. And the layup is good. Paul's got seven. And lies it for a different look here. Randall's checked in for Hill. Davis comes in for Paul Milson. Karan Butler is checked in for Nick Young. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Bryant. Here's G. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And that one's good. He presents a defender with a serious challenge. Always. Clippers leading by three. One thirty-five left in the first quarter of the game. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Look at G. Unbelievable leaders, fourth in score. Well, he's almost unstoppable. He's got so many different ways he can hurt you and put the ball in the basket. And it seems as though he raises his level during the postseason. There's a minute 34 left to play in the first quarter. Ashik pulls it in. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. Outside, Mark. Pass to Hawes. To the inside. That's blocked. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. There's 53 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Poked away. It's stolen by G. Randall dishes to G. Outside, Davis. Davis sets a screen. Let's it fly from 18. Good as the jump shot falls. That's seven points for G. Clippers have gone just a shade under 50% for the field. Five of 11. Six second difference between the shot and game plan. Ashik, the pass to Reddick. And Ashik kicks to Reddick. It's deflected. Six to shoot. And too long on the shot. I'll tell you, the defense was right there, just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Excellent communication between teammates on the alley-oop there. And that's what you need to pull that off. Well, both ends of that play, just fantastic. Back here at the Western Conference Finals as we get things started once more. And what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? Boy, a ton of threes in that first quarter. This team really lighting it up, guys. Yeah, it's been an onslaught from downtown. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Farmar is out there with J.J. Reddick. Then it's Martin. Then it's Omer Usher. And it's Hawes in at the five spot. Clippers trail by four. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, gee, in the last matchup against the Clippers was superb. He ended with 23 points and seemed to be seeing the action in slow motion, piling up a huge amount of assists. Absolutely incredible numbers for him in a monstrous game. Thanks, Doris, for revisiting what was an astounding performance, Clark. It clearly was one of those games that when we look back on his career, this game will be right there among the best ever that he's played. Well, he was in the zone from the outset. It was just one of those games where he was feeling it. Everything was going his way. And, and he attacked. And that's what I like. Once he knew it was his night, he just attacked relentlessly. And that's a battle they haven't been winning today, guys. Their work on the glass has to improve. And that's not the only thing that's gone against him. Here's Farmar. 
break. The Lakers moving it up. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. Yeah, it sure has. And another area where... That's the way to move the ball. Young's checked in for the late. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Paul outside. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Well, you know, he's not a guy that's just going to settle for pulling up. When he has an opportunity, he's going to take it strong to the hoop. You know, Paul is playing really well. Ten points, and he's done a good job distributing the ball as well. Well, you can't discount what that's meant to this team. I mean, he's helped their cause with his passing, and it's really given his team a nice groove. And here are the Clippers now, following the bucket by the Lakers. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And then she with the jam. Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have to build up the lead, and here we go, folks. It's showtime. And why not? I mean, the more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. Lakers leading by five. Pass to Hill. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Griffin's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Paul with the ball. Out guarded by G. And Dudley kicks to Jordan. It's stolen by Hill. Kobe attacking. Here's G. Defended by Griffin. G dishes to Young. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Outside Jordan. Kicks to Crawford. Hill zaps against Griffin. Paul outside. Just five on the clock. Here's Jordan. And he slams it one-handed. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. Well, those could be an important two points, too, guys, in a close game like this one. Here's G, 11 points in the game. And he gets the bucket. Eight points for Kobe Bryant. It looks like he's finding his touch now because the shots are starting to fall. Ball outside. The 11-footer. Hill pulls it in. Hill's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's G. He's guarded by Dudley. Here's G. Soft G. touch off the glass. Now it's a seven-point Laker lead. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and it's paid dividend. Yeah, it sure has, Clark. I mean, with as many points as they've got in the paint, they really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. Now here's Dudley. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Riven sets the screen for Paul. Crawford outside. Here's Griffin. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. Well, his first quarter was a real struggle, but he's got it going now. G passes to Hill. Shot clock is off. This should be the last possession of the quarter. That's what they should have in mind here. And Dudley kicks to Paul. His first shot coming late. Rebound Hill. Here's Young, and foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Jamal Crawford picks one up. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. He's off on the first. Both teams will make substitutions. And he's good on the second. what's working for you guys defensively right now. Well, we keeping them out of transition, really. I mean, that's, that's really been the big key this half. Kobe, we appreciate
Hey guys, let's settle down for a minute. We'll talk about that first half. It's the NBA playoffs. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action here in this game two. Some outstanding numbers in this one for G. 13 points, and what a tear he's been rejecting shot after shot. No doubt, Clark. He has absolutely owned the paint. G in a point guard. Paul Millsap out there with Hill. Then there's Nick Young, and it's Kobe in at the two. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Two on the clock. And Griffin sends it back. Crawford with the ball. Picked up by Kobe. Throws it up high. Paul kicks it up. Crawford outside. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Paul, no one around him. Can't drop the tough three-point. On up the court. Here's G. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Crawford, no what? That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. Young in the corner. G kicks to Kobe. The Clippers grab the miss. Griffin's got six rebounds in the game. It's stolen by G. Bryant drives in. Young. That's in. Coming off an assist by Kobe. Young's got the lead up to eight now for the Lakers. This seems like they're finding an open lane to the hoop every time down. It's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Kind of rare to see him come up empty on a wide open look. Lakers leading by eight. Here's G. He's got 13. Outside, Kobe. Outside, Millsap. It has not been an ideal start to the second half. They've missed three of their first four. It's stolen by G. There's the lob to the hoop. And Nick Young with the slam. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. No, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. Randall's checked in for Paul Milton. And now, let's give you a look at the players who have stood out and taking high percentage shots in the playoffs. Look at G, so solid around the basket, currently third in the league. Tell you what, his shooting percentage has been spectacular since the start of the playoffs. What a run he's been on. Ugly start for this second half, guys. They've missed all four of their shot attempts. Angle with the ball, and Griffin picks him up defensively. That one goes. Come on. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but their cutting, their movement together as a unit that's led to that. Now here's Griffin. He's got 10. Here's Jordan. Hill pulls it in. Hill's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Jordan. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials on the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. And the Lakers making a change here. Barnes has checked in. He doesn't get the second one. Lakers leading by 12. Kobe goes in. Got that one up there. Kobe's got 10 points. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's keyed this run, Mark, because they're keeping the ball moving. Defense hasn't been able to set up. Great defense. He anticipated the play and got there first. Yeah, I think he got there in time. Nice play. So, for the Clippers, Spencer Hawes has checked in for DeAndre Jordan. And J.J. Redick has subbed in for Jamal Crawford. G dishes to Hill. Paul against Hill. They need this. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Paul. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Now here's Kobe. Ten points for him. Good! Boy, they look helpless defensively. Paul with the ball. Now defended by G. 
Paul goes in. This is it to Hawes. It's stolen by Hill. Ryan passes to G. Back to Kobe. Nobody near Barnes. Off target with his three. Clippers trail by 15. Paul is doubled. The dish to dump. It's stolen by G. Now the Lakers on the break. The finish. And the dunk by Kobe. You know, regardless of who starts the break, it seems like he's usually the one to finish it. And that's because of how well he attacks the rim on the dead run. Now here's Griffin. He's got 10. And it comes off the front of the rim. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. G kicks to Hill. Shoots from the baseline. And the Lakers take on two more. And they got exactly what they wanted right there. Really high percentage look. Some changes for the Lakers. Davis has checked in for Hill. Butler comes in for Matt Barnes. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Kobe. The Clippers also making some changes. Omer Ash, he's checked in for Griffin. Martin comes in for Jared Dudley. And it's Farmo in for Chris Paul. Here's G after the basket by Los Angeles. Davis sets a screen. Here's G to the inside. Dishes it to Randall. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Ashik's got his third rebound tonight. And Reddick kicks to Farmer. Outside, Martin. Plenty of space. And a great assist by Farmer as that one goes in. There's 117 left here in the third quarter. Here's G. 13 points in the game. He kicks to Lynn. Feeds to G. There's the pick. He dishes it to Randall. Lock at six. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Takes a three. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Got four points in the quarter. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that ball. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. And it's Davis with the jam. Well, this is how you completely rattle an opponent's rip. Yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D. It was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. And so here are the Clippers following the bucket by the Lakers. Another miss by Martin. The feed now to G. There's the pick. Off the pick. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Boy, taking it hard to the rack. Big throwback. And give an unofficial assist card to his teammate for setting the screen that freed him up. Yeah, good call, Kevin. That was really the key to the play. And he jams it with authority. Wow, oh, we're going to remember that one for a while. I know I would have kept it. That was special. Oh, oh, man, that was a circus dunk. Here's Reddick. No good. And a moment now to take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. With six in the game, it's been some excellent court vision from Paul. Well, he's been key to their ability to find the open man and really get the offense operating smoothly. And for the Clippers, they're shooting a meager 37% for the game. So for the Clippers right now, they've got J.J. Redick, Spencer Hawes out there with Omer Usher. Then there's Farmer, and it's Crawford at the shooting guard. Hawes inside, defended by Young. Five on the clock. Reddick for three. That's good. Reddick's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Clippers. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Here's G. Young outside. Davis with a screen on Crawford. Young with the ball. And Crawford picks him up defensively. G dishes to Young. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Clippers trail by 20. It's Crawford on the wing. Defended by Lynn. There's the three. Farmar, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding department, too, Clark. 
Yeah, it's been a really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for it, but that's the way it should be. You should feel that you've competed when you do that work inside. Here's G. He feeds it to Millsap. Let's a floater go. G passes to Davis. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Throws down the alley oop slam. What a beautiful pass to set that one up. The pass might have been pretty, but the finish I thought was angry. That's a heck of a combination. Pretty pass and an angry punch. I call it an irate finish even. And Los Angeles with some changes. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for Davis. And it's Brian in for Jeremy Lin. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Jordan, he's checked in for Hawks. Griffin comes in for Omer Asha. Jared Dudley's checked in for J.J. Redd. And it's Paul in for Jordan Farmer. I tell you, he's really carrying a lot of the load offensively, and that's almost always good news for them. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. The head coach of the Clippers had some words for his team over the break. He's looking for some early offense, telling his guys to keep the pace up tempo and not let that shot clock run down. He also brought up the issue of perimeter defense and reminded his players to play very tightly on their outside shooters. Likely the final major changes to their game plan as they try to make a late comeback here in the fourth. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, Doris. Now here's Bryant on loads again, Los Angeles. Yeah, guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into a position they're in right now. And it's Paul penetrating, and Hill with the block. G kicks to Bryant, and it's blocked. Now the Clippers moving it up. Paul's running. It's going by Hill. And the jump by Kobe. Boy, they've looked good in the open floor today. That's had a lot to do with their success. Well, they've been doing the right thing, Steve. Anytime they've had numbers, they've gone straight up court with it right away. Boom. Here's Paul. After the basket by the Lakers. Griffin sets the screen for Paul. Looking to end the run. And there's the nice layup by Griffin. Well, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Tries from 10, and it's the Clippers with the rebound. Three on three, here's Paul, and there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot, he'll go to the line. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Boy, defensively, they've played with a high energy level, guys. Lakers have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Kobe dishes to Hill. Right side Hill. Nails the baby hook. And some changes here for the Davis comes in for Jordan Hill. And G's subbed in for Bryant. The pass to Gardner. He's looking for Griffin and finds him. From deep three-point range, the shot is off. And it's the Lakers the other way. Here's G. There's the screen. Butler in the corner. And Paul pulls it down. Paul's got six rebounds in the game. Riven sets the screen for Paul. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Five to shoot. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. 16 points for Chris Paul. Lakers have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Barnes, screen on Paul. Here's G, defended by Paul. To the left side wing. Over to the wing, pass to G. Drill 
Jones, the three-pointer. She's got 20. Well, with that last title, you could see the coach was addressing how they were going to make a tactical adjustment. And after the coach does something like that, it's on the players now to lock in and follow the lead and execute. If they don't, then the coach will put them on the pot. Here's Meckle. That free throw missing. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for the... And the Clippers making it. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. How much? Well, Paul, congrats.